Hey, get away from there. Just looking. We'll look someplace else. How much? I ain't just any horse. I never had me a better. She's $25. Cheap at that. But don't set your heart on it. You probably never gonna see $25. Anybody. Did you ever fight, Buckle? Not in a ring. Back to beat him? No, you don't have to beat him. Thirty dollars if you're still standing after three minutes. Sonny. The offer is so they'll wage you, but they don't win. Don't you understand? They don't win. He's a professional. There's nothing here for you, Sonny. He'll kill you. Give the lad a chance!
Help you, Sonny? It's me on the sign outside. No parents? No. Relatives? Friends? Anyone to speak for you? No. You can read, can't you, Sonny? Yes, sir. I, Pony Express Rider. I, Pony Express Rider, do hereby swear before the great and living God that during my engagement and while I am an employee of Russell Majors and Waddell, I will under no circumstances use profane language, that I will not quarrel or fight with any other employee of the firm, and that in every respect I will conduct myself honestly, be faithful to my duties, and so direct all my acts as to win the confidence of my employers. So help me God. Make your mark right under, so help me God. Bible for your soul, money for your pocket. In advance and pay. Your dangerous work shouldn't be done for nothing. My boy, you are now a Pony Express rider. Express 2,000 miles from St. Joe, Missouri, all the way to Sacramento, California. 190 way stations, 500 of the best Indian ponies. You will ride 75 miles one day flat out. That'd kill the horses. You will change miles five or six times a day. We figure you shouldn't run any animal more than 15 miles at the most. Half flood, huh? Kiowa? Kiowa. What's this one? Tetan Lakota. Sioux. How about this one? Comanche. What about this one? This one. You made. <laughs> Boys, I'm here to learn you my bag of tricks. And you will learn them good. <laughs> Wearing that cold to my low, ain't you? Feels about right. You got a hair trigger? Yep. What's your name? Jimmy. Your whole name. Hickok. James Butler Hickok. Well, get this, Mr. Hickok. I don't like no hair trigger around me. You're here for riding, not for gunfighting. But if it's trouble you want, you get a belly full. <laughs> your name speak up he can hear but he can't talk what's his name like mcswain he's real good around horses is that right ike well i guess no matter much you can't talk just so long as you can ride Some of you boys here won't be so lucky as Ike. Lose your hair from scarlet fever. More than likely, an Indian will get some of yours. You, for instance. 
What is your name? Cody. William F. Cody. Billy, if you like. I don't like. Think you're pretty hot stuff, don't you? Yep. Cow pies. Don't need to impress me, Cody. I ain't gonna be chasing you. Out here, you do not stand and fight. You run like hell. You understand? You run like hell. Cut this work. Look to me to be a my puny. I guess you're a dead shot too, huh? Hard as nails. Need the work. You got a rifle? Want me to issue you one? No, thanks. Just as soon save the weight. You don't seem quite as sick as some of these other boys. We'll see. Boys! You're gonna be riding thousands of miles, day and night. Not even the devil himself gonna make no never mind. You're gonna tie these United States together. And do yourself proud. Hey, kid. Kid. I just hit three for three. Can you do that? Let's see. Lead costs money. Let's see.
You ain't afraid of me. You could get me into trouble. I don't want no trouble and I don't want to hurt nobody. Ah, uh, that's just fooling. No, you weren't. No, I weren't. Why you act like that? I don't know. Supplies! Uh, give you a hand with that? Yeah, you could. What's that? I think it's those tools you ordered. I heard about him, but I've never seen one. What is it? It's a pick with volley gun. What's it do? Plenty. Seven barrels in one, at least 50 caliber, and they all fire at once. Good grief. <laughs> it's a backup for a lone station keeper. We'll be wanting you to hand them out down the line, Emma. Yeah, when I get around to it. Leave them in the crate and nail it shut before these children hurt themselves. Take down the barn, boy. Emma! They're here to do a man's work. If you coddle them, you'll do them no good. They're just boys. Somebody's got to look out for them. Well, I learned them what I could the best I could. I hope it's enough. But this outfit didn't hire orphans for nothing. They're not orphans while I'm around. Boys are in Sweetwater now, not out at the station house. Once you put on your town manor. Boys. Billy. Oh, Emma. No need mothering us, Emma. Well, if you didn't act so much like you needed mothering, you'd probably get a whole lot less of it. Well, hello, Emma. Hello, Sam. Still at it, huh? Just keep in order. Oh, so I see. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Marshal Sam Kane. Boys. Good to see you, Emma. How things out at that station of yours? A whole lot more peaceful than here in town. Yeah, I guess there's something to be said for peace and quiet. Excuse me. That'll be enough of that. If you can't behave, you'll have to ride on. Marshal, there's six of us. That won't matter to you. You'll be the first one I drop. Marshal, we're law-abiding citizens. Ain't we, boys? <laughs> we ain't done nothing, nobody. We're law-abiding. <laughs> Seems I'd be safer out on the plains. Emma, why don't you ask me out to your place sometime? I could use a nice, quiet meal. We tried that. You got bored. Well, let's, uh, let's try it again. I'll think on it. Come on, boys. Marshal? Yeah. Oh, uh, the woman with the scar back there? How'd you know he was going to back down? Well, I figured a man carrying so many guns, he must be afraid of everything. I done that. I know you did. Remember my bag of tricks, kid. Got a few mounds. First ride. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you might have the makings.
know you're tired, but you gotta run now. Hard week, kid? Nothing to speak of. <laughs> you gents want to take your meals elsewhere? He's been horse kicked. Sit him down. New Mustang? <laughs> your fault. No, it ain't. That animal's no good. I bet you wait until you turn your back. I'm putting him down. Got my mount? Harley? Harley? Oh, Sonny. What's in them bags? Lou. Be okay, Lou. Let me just see how bad. No. No. Lou. What's the matter, kid? Never seen a girl before? The boys will see the smoke. They'll be here soon. You're lucky. You just creased your ribs. 
Might have cracked a couple, but she'll be okay. You want to cut the small talk? What are you doing here? Don't you know what those men had have done to you if they'd have found out you were a girl? They didn't. Nobody knows but you. Listen, kid. I run away from an orphanage in St. Joe, Missouri. I got a little brother and sisters to back that. A girl with no ma, no pa, no kin. What's left for me? Scrubbing floors or worse? Well, ain't there something else you can do? Why should I? I already showed I'm as good as you. Hickok, Cody, any of you. What's your real name? Louise. Louise McLeod. Pleased to meet you. Louise. You met me already. You won't fool people forever. I don't have to. I'm gonna save all my money. Find a place of my own, get my brother and sister out of there. Kid, don't say nothing. They get rid of me for sure. Kid, you can't tell. Lou, you just heal up and we'll see. How many? Don't know. Lou didn't see them all. Twelve. Maybe thirteen. And two wagons. Good. Wagons will slow them up. They get everything? Everything. And Katie. Sorry, kid. Nobody's ever lost a pouch before. And I ain't gonna be the first. Lou, you should be resting. I'm going. You can't, Lou. You're hurt. Lou's got a right. He thinks he's fit. Why can't he? Because. Because what? Because he'll slow us down. You said yourself I'm not hurt that bad. I'm going. I guess Lou's going. Ike wants to know how we're going to go up against all those men. Believe in the odds. Ike, we need you to go back to Emma's. You're our best writer. Here's what you need to do. Look at all of them. It's the one we saw in town. Look at all those guns. That's Russian. He's even crazier than we thought. They got buffalo guns and fresh horses. We got little firepower and not a lot of cover. What's all that talk, Cody? You scared? They make cans on a fence down there, Jimmy. So right out. The odds bad enough. So what now, kid? Let me know when you're all through talking. They're starting to break camp. What would T-Spoon say? Run like hell. Too late for that. Kid! 
What are you doing? Here, got a little bit left here. You want something, boy? We're surrounded by these five boys. Well, I'll tell you what. First, I'm going to finish my coffee. And then I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill all of you. Finish his coffee, hell. We'll settle him right now. We're going, kid. You better give up! It's my last warning! You hear that? His last warning. Yeah. <laughs> Might want to brace that gun, Jimmy. Guess he finished his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, get a rope. Please, boys, please. You just can't let him do that. Wait a minute, Jimmy. I can hang nobody. Why not? We'll give him to the law. Out here, we're the law. A man like that, you never leave him standing. Never. It ain't him I'm worried about. You ain't running things, kid. If we hang them, we're no better than they are. This is a mistake. Thank you, boys. You won't regret it. Hell, I regret it already. Move it back, boys. Let's go. Move! everything, Buck. See ya. I dealt with the law before, Sonny. I can't be hung. I'll be back. <laughs> you ain't seen the last of me. I've been called a lot of things in my life, Emma, but never good. Hey, come on. Yeah, right. I was afraid of that old carpet. Surrounded by five boys. <laughs> Even Teaspoon would say we done a man's work today. Knocked the bucket over. Can you get me some water? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There, there, the gears, keys. 
Get the gun! Come on, get back, you one! We gotta run back! About a lot of things, teaspoon. Folks, what I need. Well, what about women? Kid, you come to the right place. I expect I got more expertise than most. I come. I've been married. Yes, sir. Three times white women, two times the Indians. So then you must have learned a whole lot. Kid, <clears throat> when it comes to human beings, far as the heart and such, the world is kind of like a wheel, divided up into three equal parts. Each part wants a part that don't want it. Now, if one of these parts should desire the other, and it's mutual. That's what's called a freak of nature. So people get married and they call it love, but it weren't really who they thought it was in the first place. So, years pass by and you find out you done married up to a stranger. So, the question is, if they's married to a stranger, who's they with all that time for? See what I'm getting at? It's very confusing. I dare say. I dare say it is, kid. Hey, you're up, kid. Teaspoon, this job ain't easy. <laughs> How did you? Our lawman turned his back. You see, I told you I couldn't be hung. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you. We could have finished you. But you didn't. Your friend was right. It's a hard lesson, boy. The last one you're going to learn. Get off that horse. Katie, get up. You'll be okay if you get up. Get up. Get up. Please. Katie. Don't do that yet, kid. Marshall. Is your leg broke? No, she's got a bullet in her. Well, ah. well, let's dig her out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You hurt yourself. I've had worse. I was tracking those two you shot. <laughs> was you, wasn't it? They gave me no way out. You did what needed doing. I put some pressure there. I know what those men were. But it just don't seem right. Go easy on yourself, kid. Out here, you gotta grow up fast or not at all. Give me one of them burning sticks. Oh, girl. Oh, oh, girl. Oh, girl. You all right? All right, now when I tell you, you put the burn in right there, okay? Now. Thank you, Sam. We'll be all right now. Yeah, I know you will, kid. I know you will. Kid? Yes, Lou? Thank you for keeping my secret. I didn't promise. No, but... You could have said something, and you didn't. You got a right to make your own way. I won't tell. I give you my word. Takes some getting used to. Now that you're a girl. I've uh, always been a girl, kid. Anybody want an onion? Good for the blood. Stop talking behind my back. I want to congratulate you, boys. For what? Sticking together, staying alive. And that ain't nothing but dumb luck, so don't go getting smuggled. Do you like us, Teaspoon? Can't say. <clears throat> I ain't paid to like you. Besides, this here Pony Express is job enough. And it ain't nothing but sweat and trouble. That's right. This is a good onion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're up, kid. Come on, let's go get him, kid. 